Hello class, so today we're going to represent relationships and basically what that means is we're going to take a scenario and uh, represent it five different ways. And so I'll give you a scenario that you got a new job and you make $12 an hour. Okay, so you make $12 an hour. So if you worked one hour, you would make $12. Two hours, $24. And three hours, $36. And so the first way to represent this data is something we'll all be familiar with. It'll be a table. And so we can go ahead and create our table real quick. Instead of using X and Y, we're going to do something a little different. Here on the left side, we have hours. So we'll put H for hours. And then here's how much money we're making. So we'll do C for cash cash money. So here, we work one hour, make $12, two hours, $24, three hours, $36. And we should all be familiar with this. The next one though is be somewhat difficult. It's going to be an equation and we're going to look at the table to create our equation. So we know we're going to have C equals, the, the amount of money we make equals. And the way we're going to do this is find the change in Y. So 12 to 24 is plus 12, 24 to 36 is plus 12, and then we're going to look at the change in x, 1 to 2 is plus 1, 2 to 3 is plus 1. And so how we're going to write this in our equation is y, the change in y over the change in x. So we'll have 12 over the change in x, which was 1, and then equals times the number of hours. Now this one was fairly easy because we could obviously, we're going up by 12 each X, but sometimes it's not going to be like that because they might give us a two, seven, 12 here. And so you can't just easily look at here and see how much we're going up. So here we're going to do change in Y, which was 12, over the change in X, which was one, and get our equation. So C equals cash equals $12 per hour. And so that's our first two ways of representing the, the same third thing. way to represent the same data that we found in the table in the equation is through a graph. And so the first thing we want to do is label our graph so we know what we're putting in. And so on the x-axis, that's going to be the number of hours worked. So hours. And then our y-axis will be cash. So I'll just put a dollar sign up there. And so here on our hours, we we're doing it by ones, to like one, two, three. So we can just put one, two, three. And then for the cash, we're making $12 per hour. So we're gonna make it easy on ourselves and put 12, 24, 36. And so we're gonna think of this as the X and this is the Y and then plot our points. So 112 here, 224, and then 336. And so this is the same way of representing what's in our table. And what's great about the graph is you can make predictions. So like say we go at the same rate, we can go all the way over to five and come up here and then we look to see what our Y value was. So graphs are very nice to look at and predict what's gonna happen in the future because future, you can see the trend going up. So this fourth one that we're gonna go over, may be new, maybe not, might be a review, but it's called a mapping. So make sure you get this down, mapping. And it's very similar to a table in that we have two columns, but it's not gonna be like lines creating a box that it's easier to read. So we know our X values or our H for hours was one, two, three. And what we had for our cash was 12, 24, and 36. Instead of making the lines going across in the grid, we're going to do circles, little ovals. And these are not pretty. And so to know which H or which number of hours goes to which amount of cash, we're going to draw arrows pointing to it. And so for one, we make $12. For two hours, we make 24. And for three, we made 36. And they're not going to always look like they're straight across. One may go down all the way to here, 
but make sure you get this down. Our fourth representation is a mapping, and it looks very similar to it. And the last way of representing this data that we're going to do in this video is a description. And with the description, we're going to write out in words the scenario. And so we know we make $12 an hour, and so the way we want to write this is for every hour, comma, H, because that's the variable we chose to use in our table, for every hour H, you make $12 C, because that's what we chose to represent our Y values. So our description would be for every hour H, you make $12 comma C, because that's our variable. Okay, so now that we looked at all five ways of representing the same thing, we've looked at tables, maps, equations, graphs, and descriptions. And so now what I want y'all to do for the practice problem for tonight that you'll submit is look at this graph. Here we have touchdowns and then points scored. So if you score one, point, uh, one touchdown, you're going to score six points. If you score two touchdowns, you'll score 12 points. And we're not going to worry about the extra points, we're just going to do the touchdowns. So we're going to be counting by sixes each time. And so what I want you to do is write this graph down and then using the graph, come up with the table and then use that table to come up with your equation and then do your mapping and then the description. And so make a little rough sketch of this. It doesn't have to be perfect on the graph. That's why I gave it to you first. And then come up with the other four representations using the graph. And so I'll give you all a second just to write this down.